Hi everyone and welcome to this breakout session for BricsCAD V26. I'm Rita Carone, Technical Marketing Specialist at Brixis, and today we are looking at creating civil section and section views, a feature that has been highly requested by our users. And it makes perfectly sense. You can't design if you don't understand the terrain. With V26, we introduce tools that make it simple to cut through your model, create clear section views, and get the insight to your design accurately and confidently. In this session, you'll see just how easy it is to draw precise section line, instantly visualize your terrain with clear section views, apply your own styles, and keep everything dynamic as your model evolves. And the best part, you can even add new entities later on, so your sections are always accurate, flexible, and ready to go. In this example, I have a thin surface representing the existing terrain and a design of a project. The first step is to define the alignment which we want to extrapolate our sections from. To see how my design and grading interacts with the terrain, I'll start with the sections line command. Here, I choose the layers and the width from my section, every 20 meters along the alignment, and set the start and the end of the area I want to cover with mine. Once that's done, it's time to create section views. The software automatically counts those. And in the Manage Data Sources option, we can see the actual entities we want to make visible in the sections. Let's place the section views on the side of our drawing and change the annotation scale for a better visualization. In the setting of our Civil Explorer, we've added the section view style, which can be customized accordingly to your preference, for example, by adjusting the vertical exaggeration. As with all our settings, the label property can display various entity attributes and we can decide what information we want to show in our sections. In the display menu, we can customize or turn off some entities. I'll get rid of the grid to make it look cleaner and change the color of the center axis. I need to apply these new parameters to the section views I just created. Using select similar entities, I can quickly change the style from default to section. With one click, my sections take on a more realistic and easy to read appearance. Now let's test the dynamism of our sections by splitting the screen in two viewports. By selecting and dragging one of the sections lines in the plan view, you can see directly in the right viewport how the section updates accordingly. This means that if something changes along the way, you don't need to redo the process from scratch. And what if we need to add the new entities to our section? From the Civil Explorer, Let's open the data source and add our solid to the list. Instantly, you can see how the wall being added to the section view. And of course, if you move the section line in plan, the wall will appear along every section that intersects. To finish up, we also added the option to create labels for section views. By selecting a section, we can display the offset and elevation to the point of interest. So that's how easily you can create and manage civil section and section views in BricsCAD V26. We started from a surface, define our section lines, customized the styles, and even added new entities after the section were created. 
all while keeping everything dynamic and up to date. In short, you can move from analysis to documentation faster with all the clarity and accuracy you need to design confidently. All right, now it's time to take it for a spin yourself. And while you're at it, make sure to catch the other breakout sessions. There's plenty more where this came from and we'd love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching this breakout session on creating civil section and section views in BrickSCAD V26. I hope you enjoyed it and got inspired to try these tools in your own projects. 